hi good morning welcome back welcome back to escape forever free i'm your girl faith here we join again to step out with faith as we work to restore physical mental spiritual and social wholeness it's such a pleasure to have you joining us one more time we are happy that you are with us and we pray that you would have continued for your one hour alone time yesterday at the end of our video here we are now in our one hour alone time kickstart devotional guide again still being guided by the great controversy we are in chapter 25 we also use the King James version of the Bible. So grab both copies and join us. A very special welcome to you if it's your first time here and a very extra special welcome to all of our consistent supporters, especially our subscribers. We do invite that you peruse the rest of the channel and see what we offer here that could be of benefit to you as we work seriously to, re to restoring physical, towards restoring physical, mental, spiritual, and social wholeness we invite you now to join us as we go into this kickstart devotional routine so let us pray father thank you for another occasion together we pray father that you'll give us discipline to continue father to commit ourselves to make sure that we have the best care and keep of our temple that you want to dwell in which is our entire body father we pray that you will bless every effort that we make to restore physical mental spiritual and social wholeness we also ask that as we come before you know you forgive us of our sins and you fill us with your holy spirit and we pray that you'll give us the portion of daily bread that we need to live today perfectly we also ask for whatever light that you want us to gain from today's message that none of us father will have instead darkness in jesus name we pray amen all right, so let's go into our memory text. Our memory text for this week comes to us from Saint Math, sorry, Psalm rather 57, verses 9 and 10. It says, I will praise thee, O Lord, among the people. I will sing unto thee among the nations. 10. For thy mercy is great unto the heavens, and thy truth unto the clouds. Again, Psalm 57, verses 9 and 10. 9. I will praise thee, O Lord, among the people. I will sing unto thee among the nations. 10. For thy mercy is great unto the heavens, and thy truth unto the clouds. We pray we'll be able to remember this, and we will be able to use it appropriately as the Holy Spirit leads us, in due season we're now going to go to chapter 25 of the great controversy we're going to start out at actually page 439.1 because i'm going to follow up on chapter 13 of the Revela of revelation which we did not read in our last video but i want to ensure that we do go through it so let us turn to revelation 13 and ch um, revelation chapter 13 and verses 1 to 10 and read it together so it says, let's go there. And I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his ten horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a bear and his mouth as the mouth of a lion and it, and the dragon gave him power and the dragon gave him his power and his and his seat and great authority and i saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death and his deadly wound was healed and all the world wondered after the beast and they worshipped the dragon which gave power unto the beast. And they worshipped the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast? Who is able to make war with him? And there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies. And power was given unto him to continue forty and two months. And he opened his his mouth in blasphemy against God to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And power was given him over all kindreds 
and tongues and nations and all that dwell on the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of the lamb slain from the foundations of the world if any man have an ear let him hear he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity captivity he that killeth killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword here is the patience and faith of the saints and that is what revelation 1 to 10 reads i'm going to do a small interpretation or, or commentary on on the, the same um revelation 10 there and it's the commentary is this basically the symbols the symbols as most protestants have believed represents the papacy which succeeded to the power and seat and authority once held by the ancient roman empire and i did mention that briefly yesterday if you can remember now of the leopard like beast is declared there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies and he opened his mouth in blasphemy against god to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven and it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them and power was given over all kindreds and tongues and nations end of quote now this prophecy which is nearly identical with the description of the little horn of daniel 7 as we said yesterday unquestionably points to the papacy all right so there we have it a little bit of the reading that we should have done yesterday on chapter 13 of revelation and i encourage you to go further as i said and read the entire chapters of these books that we're looking at this week okay so continuing a little bit further back to the pages of the great controversy we will do a few minutes more reading there let us pick up now at page 439.2 and we'll read just that first paragraph it says here and it's a quote of relating to daniel 7 which we say is identical with this these chapters of revelation 12 and 13's message quote power was given unto him to continue 40 and two months says the prophet quote end of quote new quote i saw one of his head as i said as it were wounded unto death and again quote he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword end of quote no the 40 and two months are the same as the quote unquote time and times and the dividing of time end of quote three years and a half or 1260 days of daniel 7 the time during which the papal power was to oppress god's people so making the matches there with the four with the um the 200 and 60 1260 days or the 40 and two months being the same as represented in um sorry the 40 and two months rather being this in revelation being the same as the 1260 days in daniel 7 all right and that represents a period under which the papal power oppress god's people relentlessly all right the dark age is there now this period as stated in preceding chapters began with the establishment of the papacy in ad 538 and it terminated in 1798 do you know what special event marked that termination in 1798 that's your homework i'm giving you that to research let's continue to read now at that time when the papacy was abolished and the pope made well i'm giving you the um and the pope made captive by the french army the papal power received its deadly wound and the prediction was fulfilled no he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity was also fulfilled um in that scripture um passage that was given we're gonna stop here for today homework for you give me some of the details right in the commentary 
um, what special event and what actions in that event mark the termination of the 1,260 days prophecy um, in 1798. So for those of us who um, prefer a lot of evidence for our faith, let's go to history as we um, match and balance what the scripture has given us as the irreputable word of God, undisputable, immutable as well, um, where it concerns his prophecy. And let us see where history has recorded the, um, the fulfillment of these very events. So check for me, 1798, what special events happened um, that we are referring to here, marking the end of the 1260 days prophecy. All right, we're going now to our meditational hymn and um, we will do stanza two. Give me the Bible. Give me the Bible when my heart is broken, when sin and grief have fills my soul with fear. Give me the precious words by Jesus spoken, hold up faith's lamp to show my Savior near. Give me the Bible, holy message shining, thy light shall guide me in the narrow way. Precepts and promise, law and love combining, till night shall vanish in eternal day. Let us pray. Holy Father, we thank you for the light that you have provided for us today father as we continue in these chapters of the great controversy looking at the element of the papacy and the prophecies of revelation and daniel that warns us to expect the culmination of the, this great controversy father between um good and evil and the specific agents that are working to bring it to an end that have worked ahead of our present time and that will work even in our present time father please help all of us who so desire to know truth and light despite what in our regular lifestyle it might disturb may we father all have clarity on this truth and may we have a heart that is humble to be ready to receive it in jesus name we pray amen thank you so much for joining us please do continue for one hour now you and god alone and we invite you to join us tomorrow as we go into our Meet Wednesday mental education and expression time. God bless you and please stick to the blueprint as you now continue for one hour with you and God alone. May the Holy Spirit also guide you to understand whatever it is that you will be studying. God bless you and see you in our next video.